Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer from all of us at St John's Catford. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. There shall come forth a shoot from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf, the lion, and the fatling together, with a little child to lead them. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for as the earth, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us, to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. First. Sorry, the psalm this evening, Psalm 39 and Psalm 40. Psalm 39. I said I will keep watch over my ways, so that I offend not with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle, while the wicked are in my sight. So I held my tongue and said nothing. I kept silent but to no avail. My distress increased, my heart grew hot within me. While I mused, the fire was kindled, and I spoke out with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days, that I may know how short my time is. You have made my days but a hand's breadth, and my lifetime is as nothing in your sight. Truly, even those who stand upright are but a breath. We walk about like a shadow, and in vain we are in turmoil. We heap up riches, and cannot tell who will gather them. And now what is my hope? Truly my hope is even in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions, and do not make me the taunt of the fool. I fell silent, and did not open my mouth. For surely it was your doing. Take away your plague from me. I am consumed by the blows of your hand. With rebukes for sin you punish us. Like a moth you consume our beauty. Truly everyone is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears, for I am but a stranger with you. A wayfarer as all my forebears were. Turn your gaze from me that I may be glad again before I go my way and am no more. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me out of the roaring pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a rock and made my footing sure. He has put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not turn to the proud that follow a lie. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. How great your designs for us. There is none that can be compared with you. If I were to proclaim them and tell of them, they would be more than I am able to express. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire. 
that my ears you have opened, burnt offering and sacrifice for sin you have not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me that I should do your will, O my God. I delight to do it, your law is within my heart. I have declared your righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O Lord, you know. Your righteousness I have not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your compassion from me, O Lord. Let your love and your faithfulness always preserve me, for innumerable troubles have come about me. My sins have overtaken me so that I cannot look up. They are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them be driven back and put to shame who wish me evil. Let those who heap insults upon me be desolate because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation say always, The Lord is great, though I am poor and needy. The Lord cares for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. O my God, make no delay. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the 16th chapter of the book of Job, beginning at the first verse. Then Job answered, I have heard many such things. Miserable comforters are you all. Have windy words no limit, or what provokes you that you keep on talking? I also could talk as you do, if you were in my place. I could join words together against you, and shake my head against you. I could encourage you with my mouth, and the solace of my lips would assuage your pain. If I speak, my pain is not assuaged, and if I forbear, how much of it leaves me? Surely now God has worn me out. He has made desolate all my company, and he has shriveled me up, which is a witness against me. My leanness has risen up against me, and it testifies to my face. He has torn me in his wrath and hated me. He has gnashed his teeth at me. My adversary sharpens his eyes against me. They have gaped at me with their mouths. They have struck me insolently on the cheek. They mass themselves together against me. God gives me up to the ungodly, and casts me into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, and he broke me in two. He seized me by the neck and dashed me to pieces. He set me up as his target. His archers surround me. He slashes open my kidneys and shows no mercy. He pours out my gall on the ground. He bursts upon me again and again. He rushes at me like a warrior. I have sewed sackcloth upon my skin, and have laid my strength in the dust. My, faith, my face is red with weeping, and deep darkness is on my eyelids, though there is no violence in my hands, and my prayer is pure. O earth, do not cover my blood. Let my outcry find no resting place. Even now, in fact, my witness is in heaven, and he that vouches for me is on high. My friends scorn me. My eye pours out tears to God, that he would maintain the right of a mortal with God, as one does for a neighbour. For when a few years have come, I shall go the way from which I shall not return. My spirit is broken, my days are extinct, the grave is ready for me. Surely there are mockers around me, and my eye dwells on their provocation. Here ends the first reading. All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. 
Just and true are your ways, a ruler of the nations. You shall not revere and praise your name, O Lord, for you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship in your presence, for your just dealings have been revealed. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. second reading is taken from the 8th chapter of St Paul's Epistle to the Romans, beginning at the 12th verse. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if in fact we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. Here ends the second reading. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, set your passion, cross, and death between your judgment and our souls, now and in the hour of our death. Grant mercy and grace to the living, rest to the departed, to your church peace and concord, and to us sinners forgiveness and everlasting life and glory. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you are alive and reign God now and forever. Amen. Remember, Lord, what you have wrought in us and not what we deserve. And as you have called us to your service, make us worthy of our calling. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Support us, O Lord, all the day long of this troublous life, until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. The busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at the last. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, 
mercifully accept our prayers, and because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in key the keeping of your commandments we may please you both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's good to have you with us this evening. And just a reminder, as I said at morning prayer, that I'm off tomorrow, taking my monthly 48 hours of rest. So I'm not here tomorrow or Saturday, so there'll be no streamed worship tomorrow. However, on Saturday, as usual, Alice will be streaming evening prayer. Uh, she's switched to just streaming evening prayer, not morning prayer on Saturdays. So evening prayer on Saturday, and I'll be back with morning prayer at 10 on Sunday morning followed by Mass at 10.30. And I'm very pleased that we've got a guest preacher on Sunday morning, and that is Mother May Christie, the Vicar of All Saints Tooting. So I look forward to that, as I'm sure we all do. God bless you. Have a very good evening and Friday and Saturday. <laughs>